Here we'll take a look at factorising quadratics. But before we get started on that, we'll take a look at what a quadratic actually is. So there are equations used in many areas of science and engineering. So commonly you might see them used to describe the path of a projectile. So something like a cannonball, an arrow, or a stone thrown in the air. So usually quadratic equations are good to describe these. And we can use them to figure out where the projectile is going to land, or how much time it spends in the air, and so on. So how could you recognise what a quadratic is? It's usually in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. So you can see down below at the bottom of the screen some examples of quadratics. So say the first one, x squared plus 8x plus 15. So it has an x squared part, an x part, and a constant. That means a number on its own. Some further examples again at the bottom. So take, for example, the last one. 8x squared minus 6x plus 1. So it has an x squared part, an x part, and a constant. Now you can see in all these examples, x is the letter used. But it doesn't always have to be x. So it could be, for instance, t. So you could have 2t squared minus t plus 1. That's quadratic. It's just using t rather than the normally used x. Or say maybe 5a squared plus 6a plus 17. That's another quadratic. It has an a squared part, an a part, and a constant. So usually x is used, but sometimes you can see quadratics using different letters. If you were to graph quadratic, this is what it might look like. So you can see it's a smooth curve, rising to a high point and then falling. This is an n-shaped curve, it can also be a u-shaped curve, which is basically this curve upside down. As stated previously, this curve can be used to represent the flight path of projectile. So say an arrow shot up into the air, it'll reach its highest point, and then it'll begin to fall. Or maybe a stone thrown into the air, same thing. Here's an example of what a factorised quadratic would actually look like. So when you're finished factorising x squared plus 5x plus 6, you'll end up with x plus 2 by x plus 3. So that's the answer you'll get at the end. That's what a factorised quadratic looks like.